Zoom pasties, Alex here again, walking in a winter wonderland, frolicking on the frost and chasing my way through the chill to bring you another brilliant episode of the Top 5 Short Show, brought to you by the Ice Cool Barcroft TV. The digital elves at Barcroft are always busy, bringing you a fresh clip every single weekday telling an amazing tale from all around the world. We give you full-length television documentaries on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and then there's our brand new Bear Grylls Adventure Channel that showcases the most insane, intense, incredible footage of stupendous explorations, survival and extreme sports. It's seriously edge of your seat stuff that's guaranteed to get your heart beating faster. And if it doesn't, you can maybe consider investing in a defibrillator. Then there's the Barcroft Cars channel, which races the latest and greatest stories on four wheels straight to your screen. Forget consuming superfruits, kale or wheatgrass. The best thing that you can do for your health this season is make sure that you're subscribed to all our channels so you don't miss a thing. Now it's time for this little miss to count down a handful of our hottest videos from the last week. Let's rumble on with the roundup. We start things off with a splash at number five with this vid of a little bear cub in a great big tub. Well, it's a swimming pool actually at the Single Vision Wildlife Sanctuary in Florida. Run by animal enthusiast Carl Bovard, the educational facility is home to two baby bears who've become fuzzy buddies. A Florida black bear named Honey and a Syrian brown bear called Bruiser who loves to play in the water and even likes to balance aboard a surfboard. <laughs> The pair's other hobbies include eating, guzzling, slurping, drinking, eating, feeding, eating and eating. Now and again, they also like to eat. Did I mention eating? Oh, what? Hey, say hi. Oh. <laughs> there are all sorts of animals living at Single Vision, including two alligators, two lions, two bobcats and a couple of cougars. No, not that type of cougar. <laughs> Did anyone see that clip featured on Comedy Central, by the way? High five to those with sharp eyes who spotted that Single Vision has been featured on Barcroft TV before. Check out this clip of Carl rumbling, tumbling and wrestling with the two tigers he takes care of. Easy. The guy at four usually delivers letters through doors, but when he's not working as a postman, 30-year-old Scott Bainbridge devotes all his time to his incredible car, a superb replica of Kit, the iconic vehicle from Knight Rider. Scott spent the last decade and around £18,000 transforming an old, battered, bruised and bashed Pontiac Trans Am into an incredible version of the car from the hit 80s TV show. I love the dedication to detail on this project, the dashboard, the lights, and of course, the fact that the car actually speaks to you in the voice of Kit. Now, previously, my favorite vehicle on the Barcroft Cars channel was Zach's Batmobile, but now I'm not so sure. Do I prefer the Dark Knights ride or Knight Riders? Sadly, the creator of the original Knight Rider series, Glenn Larson, passed away less than a month ago. I really hope he heard about this amazing fan tribute to his creation before he went. At three, eye-popping footage of a man having a cuddle with a really old animal. No, not that! <laughs> Biologist Forrest Galante caught a huge 12-pound Pacific spiny lobster while free diving, an absolutely enormous specimen since overfishing means the species rarely gets to reach weights over three pounds. Nicknaming the ancient crusty crustacean Albert Gertha, Forrest did consider eating the beast for a while, but then decided that he was too much of a winner to be his dinner and ended up releasing him into a marine reserve off the coast of California, where he could go on to breed. Albert, here we go, my friend. Lots of you said you jumped out of your shop Skinny skin skins after 45 seconds when the lobster suddenly curled up. But I have to admit laughing when a lot of you pointed out that there was a bloke with his hand down his shorts at 1.14. Itching your bits like that is usually associated with crabs, not lobsters. Now, if you're a regular viewer of the Top 5 Short Show, thank you, you're the square root of awesome, you'll know that every week I pose a quick question to find out a bit more about you. Last week, in honour of the launch of the brand new Bear Grylls Adventure Channel, I asked you to give me your very best wilderness survival tips. 
a whole bunch of you said that if I couldn't get access to fresh water, I could hydrate myself by drinking my own wee. I know that's true, but you've got to be taking the pee if you think I'm honestly going to do that on camera, guys. This week, continuing to grill you on all things Bear Grills, what I'd like to know is, if you could explore anywhere on the planet, where would you go and why? Maybe you'd get in a submarine and slink around on the bottom of the sea. Or perhaps you'd pop into a pyramid to peer around. Or maybe jump towards the jungle? Let me know in your comments. In the meantime, let's shuffle on with the show. We're combining the need for speed with brilliant bendiness and balance as we tootle into two and meet the high-octane Indian yoga enthusiast Gugulotu Lacharam, who spends two hours a day pulling pretzel-like poses whilst poised on the back of a moving motorcycle. There are some gloriously surreal scenes in this video, like when the 40-year-old tears along the tarmac with his legs akimbo and his buttocks bent forward. As for those of you asking whether he can do a backflip or cook at the same time, people just don't tempt him. He doesn't use safety gear as it is, so surely incorporating acrobatics and deep fat fryers or whatnot is going to lead to this guy becoming roadkill. Finally, popping the champagne and demonstrating some real physical pain at the number one spot this week, it's one of the first videos showcased by Bear Grylls on his new adventure channel and it features a combination of parkour, skateboarding and snow known as urban skiing, which first emerged as a sport about 15 years ago. We promised you that Bear would be sharing all things daring and this clip really doesn't disappoint. As well as featuring footage of urban skiers Cam Riley and Clayton Villa achieving the most bonkers stunts, jumps and grinds, it also shows the wince-inducing moments when tricks went wrong, when they didn't pull them off, but instead fell off. To the admiration of many viewers, Clayton didn't give up, even after that painful-looking accident. He kept on trying, and in the end, he nailed surfing the rail, even though he said that afterwards he felt like he'd run a marathon, and he was so overwhelmed by tiredness, adrenaline, and elation that he could hardly speak. That's this week's top five shorts done, dusted and ready to curl up by a crackling fire and take a cosy nap. But before I get my coat, let's take a sneak peek at what's coming up very soon on Barcroft. Another compelling tale you can't fail to be intrigued by. Make sure you're subscribed to all three of our channels, that's Barcroft TV, Barcroft Cars and the Bear Grylls Adventure Channel so you never have to shout about missing out. For now though, I've got to say goodbye. See you soon, wobbling weebles. <laughs>